have now been charged with a hate crime, among other offenses, including kidnapping and aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. Joining me now, Fox News contributor Ebony Williams, Republican campaign strategist Tony Sag. Let, let me ask you, the White House responds it's too early to decide if it's a hate crime. Uh, the, the authorities in Chicago basically saying boys will be boys. There are two teenage mm. girls as well as boys mm -hmm. uh, here. I, I mean, this is awful. No, that response is unacceptable. And I'll say that as a criminal lawyer, you know, there are certain actual elements, tangible elements we look for to define statutorily a hate crime, and they all look to be here. Uh, I'll be the first to say, yeah, of course you want to take your time and do your due diligence, but a thing is a thing, and you got to call it a thing, Lou. And I think it's very important that we all collectively engage in this outrage and call it what it is. It's a hate crime. Yeah, and, and leaders don't wait for facts. They know what is staring them in the face. The facts are what we can all see. This isn't something where we have to deliberate and, and wait for some sort of paneled investigation inquiry into, a, into facts. They're all presented and in, in for us to see. Lou, this is a devastating story that I think shocks the conscience of anybody who's humane in this country. I agree with my colleague and counselor, Ebony, on the facts of the case. Yeah. But it goes beyond that to your point about leadership. Yeah. Uh, there's no doubt that somebody should be calling this kid's family and apologizing or at least offering the condolences of this country to the fact that you have targeted somebody who was a special needs child because he was white. Now, whether you want to associate the political implications of this. I do. I it, do. It, I w because politics are the reason that 762 people have been shot dead in Chicago, uh, the highest number in 20 years. Not a single, not a single person from this White House has been in Chicago admonishing uh, Mayor Emanuel, mm -hmm. pleading with him to do something to save these lives. Yeah. Four, more than almost 5,000 mm -hmm. people shot. I mean, it's, it's insane. It's, an un, it's, it's, it's difficult for me to understand why my president, uh, who has had substantial connections and a relationship with the city of Chicago. His hometown. Certainly hasn't been there. And, well, and I, he's our I president. More, yeah. Correct. But I got to tell you, correct. I, I'm, very, I'm very unhappy about more, The yeah. difference between you and me is I'm very unhappy about the fact I'm he was hard ever in that Oval Office. Well, Mur murders more in Chicago, the third largest city than L.A., our second largest, and or New, New York, York, our first largest, yeah. combined. Mm -hmm. Now, I once was taught by a political science professor that you want to look at the failure of big D Democrat policies, look at urban America. You want to look at the failure of the Obama administration, look at his hometown of oh, Chicago. There has never been anything done to alleviate the burden he of pressure. He wouldn't even say a city. word. He wouldn't say a never word. Never once. And the first runner up to the, the, the violent crime issue, right. the education system in Chicago, but, too. Totally broken. Uh, it, there, it's, the it's, city it's a is shame. broken, period. It's a shame. And it's broke. Uh, yeah. and, and yet, it, it seems Donald Trump is the only one in the campaign who wanted to talk about the real issues. In the inner city. Can't wait to see what and he does. And this kid deserves better, by Can't the way. Can't wait to see what he does. Uh, this kid deserves a lot better. Everybody deserves better than what Chicago is giving them.